So we're, good evening. We're all, good. Good evening. Good Saturday evening, folks. Uh, Lori Bell, Randy Bell here for a rather late senior saint moment here on yeah. a Saturday. <clears throat> You're running behind. I am. I'm slow. <laughs> uh, you should know that. Yeah. Now, yes, I do. I slow. do. <laughs> so we've uh, had a great weekend with. Uh, Amber and Brent and the boys came in from uh, College Station, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and to, we went fishing every day. Yes. <clears throat> Anybody mm -hmm. out there have the perfect spot to catch carp? Please let us know. Our grandson wants to catch some carp, and we haven't been able to do that. So let us know the good places. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And the best bait, because I've and been, the best bait, yes. Yeah, I've been using oats and uh, some cereal with a little bit of vanilla sprinkled in. Yeah. So yeah, hey Miss Barb, hey Miss Carol. Howdy. We're all having a great uh, <laughs> evening now. Here it is on Saturday. Yeah, we went to Lake Whitney this morning, mm -hmm. and uh, went to Dinosaur Valley yesterday with the grandkids. So we've been busy. Yeah. So we're just now settling down. <laughs> <clears throat> it's been a great three days yes it has it's been awesome so again a senior saint moment and mm -hmm. today we're going to talk about saving the best for last okay. so we're saving it up sounds good to me the best for the last best for last <laughs> okay <clears throat> to help start this off uh <laughs> barb says cheese but, hot dogs okay for carp. yeah Ooh, we'll give okay. that a shot yeah I'll try that. <laughs> Very good. So uh, let me open in prayer. And okay. We'll go to scripture and uh, get into this moment. All right. Sounds good. Let's pray. Holy God, we come to you We're so thankful and for your for your grace and your mercy in our time of need. And we praise you for the opportunities to have family around and friends and just uh, check on each other and try to enjoy the creation that you gave us so we pray tonight that your holy spirit would teach us what we need to know and reveal the truths that we can handle we pray all this in jesus name amen amen so tonight let's talk about hey miss treva how are you <laughs> let's talk about uh, philippians 3 okay and you know last week wade preached on a, a little bit ahead of this a couple of verses, but we'll just concentrate on three verses, 12 through 14 tonight. So could you read that? Sure. Okay. Not that I have already obtained all this or have already been made perfect, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead. I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Yeah. So he's pressing on. Yes. He's forgetting the past and pressing on. Uh, so as we talk about saving the best for last, this is kind of fits in with what Paul was talking about. Um, if, if toward the end of our life, we continue to press on mm -hmm. to attain that high goal of uh, perfection in Christ that uh, can only come through him. Right. And so here are these words again from uh, Missy Buchanan, Aging Faithfully, in a little book. It's a nice little book and works out perfectly. So you've heard people talk about saving the best for last. Mm -hmm. I don't know why we do that. Um, it's like eating dessert last. I like dessert first. Dessert first. Yeah. Sounds good to me. So in this season of life, how can <laughs> dealing with aching joints and diminished eyesight be the best of times? <laughs> Fair question. <laughs> yes. Even so, if the finish line is on the distant horizon, we can glance back at our lives and see what that the race has been full of adventure. So some of it good, some of it great, some of it not so good, perhaps even bad. Uh, 
And so, you know, when we talk about Paul's talking about forgetting what's behind, mm -hmm. you know, we, we've all uh, done things that we wish we hadn't. And we know that our past sins are forgiven. And he's saying, press on. Right. And, and, you know, Paul, of all people that wrote this letter, uh, if you remember his background, before he was Paul, he was Saul. And he, he's the guy, if you read in the book of Acts, that held the coats of those who stoned Stephen to death, who was, who was our first Christian martyr. Mm -hmm. So, you know, never give up on people that you think are just the worst possible people ever. And Paul's a great example of that because now he's saying to us, or to these folks here in uh, the Philippians, he's saying, press on. Mm -hmm. Forget all that past, press on. And so there's things we wish we hadn't done and there's tension of what we've been and what we want to be. So that tension will always be there because we're human. So, but we'll continue to strive and reach upward to attain that of Christ Jesus. And so, so we've experienced some unexpected twists and turns and dramatic ups and downs in mm -hmm. life. Definitely. At this stage of the race, a deep sense of peace and contentment sweeps over many of us. And, and maybe a sense of quiet joy might well up in, in many as well. Yeah. So over the years, the pressure, see if any of this resonates with any of y'all, <laughs> see if the, the pressure of keeping up with the Joneses has dissipated. And y'all out there tried to keep up with the Joneses? Or the Smiths, or whoever. <laughs> whoever lives across the street. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's dissipating by now, hopefully, and uh, you're finally comfortable in your own skin, right. even if it's a little wrinkled. I, I like talking, how you look at me when I'm you say about that. Me. <laughs> yeah. The kids are, are raised, and the career is likely or a thing of the past or winding down. Mm -hmm. Is yours winding down? Sure. Okay. Which one? Just, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> it seems that we can now concentrate our energy fully on what is most important in life, and that's relationships. Absolutely. Relationships so with true. family, with friends, relationships with God. You know, last week Wade uh, preached about this this very topic, but in, within it, he talked about. Uh, connection you know we can't mm -hmm. uh, flying solo never works thank you she said mm -hmm. and, you know we've you, we've talked about relationships before and we must be connected to people yes and whether you did to your sunday school or small groups or or hundred homes mm -hmm. that, that we're getting cranked up here at acton mm -hmm. uh, we need connection with people and with god yes and so it's true that even as we grow physically weaker we can also grow spiritually stronger. Uh, with every trial, we learn to trust God's character and promises more and more. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a God's way. And so maybe you have reached a point in your life when you realize that God is the only strength you have left. Mm -hmm. Some of us are hard-headed and it takes a while for that realization to in fact be true to us mm -hmm. because here's the truth no <laughs> anti-aging product can save you <laughs> no matter how many times it's advertised not any out there <laughs> no medical procedure will turn back the clock no nope. there's no. no fountain of youth and no <laughs> I, I don't think so okay and, and there's no bank account that can give you eternal security very true. very true so our goal is to grow in christ and to see what we might become like paul says straining to reach the goal at the end of the race mm -hmm. and uh, only when we fully embrace the mortality uh, that, that we aren't going to li be living forever can we really live authentically and, <laughs> and be unafraid Right. Uh, and, and for all of us, the finish line is getting closer. 
We don't know when that day is, but we have the insatiable confidence that the best is yet to be. Right. I believe that. Yes. Uh, saving the best for last. As in this quest and growth and lifelong journey or pilgrimage of uh, striving for protection, attaining that of Christ. Mm -hmm. So we still have purpose. We still have purpose. Right. And further in God's kingdom, and we should never quit and never coast. Very true. Never quit and never coast. So some believe the best times are behind them. We're, we're saying that's not right. Right. Uh, but as Christians, we are called to lean forward, lean into life. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I think about. Our family reunions where we've celebrated with people and right. family and you know those we've experienced in the past and remember the the warm embraces and the laughter and the, the mm -hmm. weird uncle maybe or <laughs> something so ima imagine those those loved ones that that have passed and gone on imagine mm -hmm. them standing alongside us cheering us on to our victorious finish well, that reminds me of what is it in the is it the Apostles' Creed that the union of saints is that what that one is? It talks about the union of saints, the forgiveness of sins, resurrection of the body. I think of the union of saints as as my all of my relatives that have gone on before me. That's what I think of when I hear that. So when we think about this, in what ways can we fully embrace the fullness of the years in our current circumstances? What are things we can do, given our history, our good, our bad? Mm -hmm. How can we embrace the fullness of these years to help influence others for Christ? Mm -hmm. So that's about it for today. We see if several have joined us, so we're happy to see all of you. Uh, Miss Glenda as well. And Janice. And Janice. And Thank you. Yes, we had a great time with them. Yes, great time. Uh, and for those of you that have, haven't been on a tube behind a, a speedboat <laughs> uh, in a while, I, I did that today um, in Lake Whitney, and uh, it was pretty rough. First time in about 40 years. 40 years, I would yeah. think, or five, 45. 45 years. <laughs> and, uh, I think it it was rough today. <laughs> Real windy. Wasn't quite the same, it was, was it? <laughs> windy. So anyway, it was a great day. Yes. And, uh, so hopefully uh, you've uh, gleaned some truth. Some of what we've talked about today has resonated with you. Saving the best for last, as Paul says, forget the past and look forward to what lies ahead, straining to reach the end of the race and receive the prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us up to heaven. Right. So, uh, we have to press on. Press right. on. Right. And maybe you can press on by praying us out tonight. Okay. All right. Let's pray. Almighty God. You have created life to be a journey. Until you call us home, enable us to live faithfully and obediently. We celebrate loved ones who have finished the race before us. Help us to keep our eyes focused on you until at last we cross the finish line and hear the joy of heaven breaking forth. Amen. And thank you so much. Yes. You're welcome. So hope you have a good rest of the Saturday for what's left of it. And yes. if you don't have a church home, actonmethodist.com mm -hmm. slash live, where you can go and watch live services at 9 in the morning or at 1030 10 or uh, attend in person at either of those times should you uh, wish to do so. Sure. So uh, we're still practicing social distancing uh, there as well, and masks mm -hmm. are highly recommended if you come, yes. and we'd lo really love to see you if you're comfortable with that. Otherwise, we also understand. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I think that's all. What's Miss Carol saying? 
did not mean that face. You must have sent us a face. I didn't see it, Carol, oh. so you're good. <laughs> Whatever it was, Miss Carol, we forgive that face. Yes. <laughs> you have to understand, I, I, um, I, I, I cannot do more than one thing at a time. So. Yes, this is so true. We can catch up later on all that stuff. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully y'all have a, a great rest of the evening, and uh, may God go with you and be richly blessed. Yes. Bye-bye, y'all. Bye-bye.